Hello and welcome to Mock Productions. You're here me, Matthew, and we are back with a very, very special unboxing. This is to celebrate the 600th video on the channel and also the fact that we are now 800 subscribers. Um, <laughs> it's been a long time coming, but it's really, really good to finally say that I have eight, well, sorry, we have 800 subscribers in this community which is ever growing, ever growing bigger and bigger every single day. More people are becoming aware of this community of, you know, gaming videos and everything like that. And it is just a fantastic, fantastic achievement to be able to say I've put 600 videos on the channel um, ranging from Minecraft to Skylanders. There's a, a massive range of different uh, games and there's always more room for improvement as anyone would probably tell you but this is a very special uh, unboxing here. Not only is it a 600 video and 800 video but this is probably going to be a start of a brand new series. Um, you'll probably be able to tell by the title what this is and it is very interesting. I can't wait to actually see what this is like out of this box. You can see it's a pretty long box going all the way along this table. I'm um, in my conservatory, I'm not exactly uh, upstairs, I can't really get it in my bedroom, it's that big. Um, but rather interesting stuff. So I'm going to lift the box up, cut it open, pull the thing out, and we'll have a look what's inside, hopefully in a bit more detail. So, here we go. Let's lift the box up. <coughs> Okay, so I've already got the knife in here. You can already probably see what it says there. I'm hoping it's not that, um, although I would actually like that. Um, now, what's interesting about this brand is that a second, a second uh, one of this specific uh, game is going to be coming out soon. So let's just open these flaps here. I might not be able to pull this out directly to the camera, so I'll just slide it off to the side slightly and I'll shimmy it out onto the table. So if you give me a sec. Let's tip it. Whoa! Oh yes! Yes, 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 yes! Finally! Finally, 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 look at this! Oh yeah! Anki Drive. Looking really cool. This is awesome. It's a nice sort of wooden, almost plastic container here. Uh, the battle begins. It's a race for survival. Une course pour la survie. Very nice. It's French. So we got Kurai and Bossen in here. Uh, and what's included? Two cars. The race mat, tire cleaner, and adapter, and power cord. Obviously, that will charge these vehicles. I'm super excited for this. So I'm just going to open the little bit of sellotape up here, which is holding this plastic beauty in place. And hopefully, then, wow, this is a really, really secure. I don't really want to be knackering the plastic because it'd be nice to wrap it back up. Let's just use the knife and cut through that. There we go. Oh, look at the shininess. It's awesome. Oh, that's actually a sticker. I thought that was just a leaflet. Let's flip it the other way now. And pull the plastic off of it. Right, so how do we get into this? Ah, oh, right, there are two little cutty bits here. Oh, actually, let's have a little look at the back. Let's have a look at the back of the box. I mean, come on, what's the review thing is this? We go back to the high-tech weapons. Okay, it's all in French as well. Kurai vs. Bossen. Uh, it shows you the car down here, just there. Got the track here showing you the cars. Obviously, there's only one track in here. Very bog-standard track, but it'll do as a starting block for this actual uh, awesome game here. A few modifications here, obviously this game has got better and better as the uh, months have gone by. That's why I've waited for now to actually get this um, and the fact that there was a pretty good deal going on so I thought let's grab it while we can. So I'm just going to snip these two top parts off here. 
and then we should be able to get into this little beauty. Fingers crossed. Right, that one's undone. Let's just do this bo bottom one here. Let's lift it up. Ugh. Trying to get this on camera as best I can. Let's just lift that up a little bit more. Cut this like that. Place this on the table then, and hopefully, grand unveiling of this. There we go, pulling that off. <laughs> Look at this. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet indeed. Um, actually, it needs to be switched around. This is really, really nice. Um, oh, it's got a weird plasticky smell. The track is massive. Let's just have a look at this. This looks like a mouse. It's not exactly a mouse. Um, where's the? How do we get into it? Ah, just... oh. <laughs> look at that. These cars are little miniatures. Now I actually do have a comparison here, now how do I get this out gently? Just pulling it. You might say just pulling it. Ooh, there we go. And there is a the little car there. Little dinky car, they are really little small cars, nice rubber wheels though but these are really really cool now I do have a comparison actually, here's the little case obviously it goes into this little uh, docking station so it'll uh, peg into that and uh, be able to charge away nicely I think it just pegs in like that and then you can close that up and it is just like a little mouse but obviously it's got that in there and this little thing, is it's not spring loaded and it's not like a, a fallable one. It's got some uh, tightness to the sides, um, which allows it to be sort of opened where you want. But that car is awesome. And I believe that's the Borsan car. The Bossan car. Really, really nice. Just for a comparison, actually, let's just uh, move the little charging thing right there. Got a comparison right here, of course. This would be... Uh, this would be definitely uh, the best way to comparison these. We've got the Skylanders E3 exclusive hot streak, and then the An Anki Drive car there. So you can see that the Skylander car is bigger, <coughs> but they are both the same length. Just this is bulkier than this. But this is a super duper sort of racing car. But it does look really really cool, <coughs> which is pretty cool. So let's. Plonk him back in there. There is plenty to go through here. <clears throat> Obviously, we've got the mat, uh, the mat itself, which we'll uh, hopefully be showing off. Pulling that off comes in these little plastic uh, shells, keeps it protected, doesn't allow it to scratch. And there's the yellow car, Kurai, looking pretty sweet there. Really nice there. And obviously, the back is there, which just gets pegged in to the thing, It'll clip in like that and then you can go ahead and charge him in his little pod there which is really cool and the actual starter pack here gives you space for two different cars um, which ones are they? Uh, it doesn't say but they do have the little labels obviously there I think one is Row and one is Catal I think that's what they're called obviously we've got the mat here can't exactly roll it out here um, so hopefully I'll be able to just roll that out quickly to show you what that is like. Look what this is. It's got little sticky bits keeping it in place. What is that? Oh, that must be the thing to actually keep the mat rolled up once you've taken it out. Uh, how am I supposed to access this? Um, Oh, you just pull out the tabs, nice. And then I think this is the instructions for 
the whole set. Yeah, these are all the little instructions. So you can have a little look through there. It's just safety guides and all that sort of stuff. And then there's this actual sort of start thing, which probably will take you through what to do in terms of setting up the app and everything like that. But I've got mine downloaded and ready to go. It'd be pretty cool because I'm going to be able to take on some of the the uh, all the bosses and have some battles and all that sort of jazz, which is really cool. Let's just peg that back in there. Sorry if the uh, camera's not showing all, but uh, there's a lot to show off in such a small space, which isn't really that ideal. Uh, let's just pull this off before we damn it. Oh my god, this stuff is really sticky. It's ugh. You can. Yeah, that. Look how sticky that is. It, it looks like handcuffs. It's not. They're not handcuffs. But they do just fit into that little gap there, which is pretty neat. Um, and here we have this little secret box here. So just opening this up. Let's have a look what we got in here. Charging. It looks like the charging. Ah, look at that. We've got different uh, different connections there. So we've got a UK sort of plug, and I think that's the American one. Um, it doesn't look as if there's... A, it's... And there's the little connection thing here. Which I think that allows you to connect it just to the computer. So you, um, maybe if you've got like five cars, you could charge three whilst two are racing, that sort of thing. So there's three different plugs there. So you can get three of the little pods charging all at once there with that thing. And obviously in the other one, I'm guessing, are gonna be the adapter to actually plug this into the wall. So let's just put that box there, grab this one. This one's a little bit smaller. Yeah, and here's another plug here, but there's the pack. There's the actual wall pack there, so the USB goes in there. It's got a really nice onky symbol there. And then there is the other thing, which is like a European one. So that is pretty cool. But basically that will get plugged in there, and there's a little button just there to unclick it. Obviously, for me, it's going to have to be that one. But obviously this allows you now to take this other places rather than just in your home. So I'll be keeping that out, be keeping the actual wire out, and be bagging up all of that. And then this one, which is sneakily labelled a wheel, is basically the wheel cleaning kit uh, for the cars, which is rather funny that uh, these little cars need, need uh, cleaning, but because of the track and dust and all that, it may get uh, interference and everything. Yeah, man. There we go. So it's basically a little pad here. Let's just pull this out. There you can see it says drive there. Let's just open this up. Is there a little button? Oh no, there's a little area here. Just go. Oh. Yeah, man. There we go. And the cars basically roll on that. It's a bit of a sticky surface, but it'll basically keep clean the wheels, clean that rubber, and keep them nice and fresh, which is a nice little accessory to have, especially to keep them in the best condition. So you're basically set here to go with uh, the actual the actual game and everything. It's just setting it all up on the floor. So what I'm going to do is, seeing as we've actually have a little look at everything. I'm just going to cut away to another special uh, addition for this uh, unboxing. So I will be back momentarily. So stay tuned. Okay, so here we go. So we have this as well. Um, not only just the the cars here. We we obviously got the cars here. A little bit more detail of these. Um, let's just. Let's just show these off a little bit because obviously it was a little bit awkward with the tripod. Um, so there's there's a comparison between obviously what will be the Skylanders hot streak, but this is the E3 version, and these two which are fully charged and ready to go. They're ready to show off what the game is all about. We should be showing them going around the track and everything. It's pretty interesting. I really really enjoy it. Um, <clears throat> but we'll get to that when they're uh, having a little uh, fight around the track. But they're really really awesome. And they're really awesome quality as well. Really fantastic stuff. But anyway, we're not here to talk about these. 
This is obviously right here. Now I got this actually today, um, obviously I'm filming this for the section of the video which is actually on the day um, that I would normally put out what would be a Skylander video. Um, obviously I wanted to be something different but I thought because because it's coming up and I know it is, we get something else in. Um, but this is also, you know, it is to do with uh, Anki Drive. So I am pretty, uh, pretty stoked for this. So let's just open this up and then just pull out what we've got. So there's one, two, three. See, the receipt is in the back. Lovely. So, what have we got? Well, we have Korax, Hedion, and we also have Catal. So we got those three, they're like sort of add-ons, if you will. Um, look at that. Uh, defeat Korax in battle to control. So I can't actually use that car until I've beaten whoever is controlling it. Um, but these are awesome. I've seen, I've seen these cases before. I picked them up and I was like, wow, these are really, really cool. And they, they really are. They come in these really nice boxes. Detail really nice. Very simplistic black, but it goes with the whole brand. Um, obviously on the side it says all about these. Personally, I've got mine on a iPod, so it's ideal. Um, probably an iPad would be pretty cool, because you could see everything really big, um, and you know exactly what's going on. It shows you what's inside. You've got a little label here if it was to be hanging up on the shelves. Corax there, looking really cool, the black car. Very simplistic black, but the orange brings out a lot of... Uh, different sort of stuff. There you go, here's a little backstory here. Corax was designed with one goal in mind, eliminate its opponents. Using ruthless firepower unlike other cars, Corax can use two separate weapons simultaneously, but be warned, before earning the privilege of controlling Corax, you must defeat it in battle. Really, really nice. Really cool. And then we've got Hadeon, which is basically a orange car here. Very much reminds me of this because of the the um, yellow and orange, it's similar colours, but you can see that this top black part here is slightly different, which is uh, definitely pretty cool. Um, so really nice again with that box and everything. You've got the side and everything which tells you about that. Um, engineered to think, designed to win, pretty cool motto there. Uh, we've got a smaller bio here. We've got Hadeon was built to be nimble and fast with precise handling. Hadeon doesn't just defeat its opponents, it outmaneuvers them and runs circles around the com competition. Speed Demon, that's what it's classed as. What's this one? Savage Fighter. Ooh. Flippinek. So there's those two. And then we also have this one, which is already opened. Worrying. Um, okay. We'll have a little look at this. Um, add Catal to your collection to strengthen your defense in Anki Drive. Loaded with an overcharged energy energy system and advanced armor. Catal is powerful. Uh, defensive warrior. Nice. you got this blue car here. Obviously, I didn't see you at the front there. Blue car with these yellowy gold highlights there. You can see it better on here. But it does look really, really cool. So popping these actually out of here, you can see that... Uh, it looks as if it has slightly glued itself on to this part. Ugh. There we go, got it off. Silly thing. Oh, that's why they weren't coming out first time. I was just pulling them. You have to unclip them there, and then you can pop this open. There's Catal there, so then we can actually pull the plastic thing out and himself there. Everything seems okay with him. Doesn't seem to be damaged or anything like that. Looking really cool though. Really liking that guy. Look at that. So the comparison does similarly look like that one. Bigger light up there. Smaller lights there. And then a, a whole light there. So that's pretty cool. And what I've noticed that I haven't noticed in uh, other videos is that lights actually do come out of these. I didn't actually notice that in any other videos, so that is really awesome that you can actually see the damage is going on. I thought you just had to look at it on the screen. But uh, yeah, really nice little car here, you can tell. He looks really, really awesome. 
nice dinky blue car. You can plug him in there. Obviously, he's got his little protective shell there. And then he's got his own set of instructions, which I'm guessing were supposed to be just glued in there and uh, allowing him like that. <clears throat> just to close his shell up. See, that's open now. And then let's open these. Just carefully use the knife to slice down there. And the same on this side as well. Carefully slice down there, which opens that up. There you go, see that's what it's supposed to look like, so that doesn't fall out and you pull that out, hopefully not ripping the actual uh, paper. Pull this out, open this up, and there is Corax. He just really looks awesome. Uh, the one that I'm looking forward to the most is uh, Spec Spectrix, I think it's called. Um, but it's that purpley green one, really, really cool. But this one is nice. It um, it definitely reminds me of a certain car. Um, it, it's it's very sleek. It's very uh, it's very nice. The orange detail brings it out a lot. But uh, mentioning uh, the detail, the second game, Monkey Overdrive, the cars look so awesome. They look so much more detailed. Nothing against this game because it it, it it's like Skylanders. It was like a a massive leap forward. You know this this brings toys to life in a massive way. Um, Skylanders br brought it here, and so many other companies have, you know, brought out their own editions. But this, I think, definitely does bring toys, being this, and their life because they're actually, run you know, going around everywhere and becoming more part of your life. You know, they're around your floor and everything, which is very interesting. My camera just uh, obviously wanted me to zoom in then, just to show off that, which is really cool. And he can go in there and we'll close up his shell. Put his uh, specific plastic thing in there. I think that was his. Yes, it was. We'll put that just in there like that. Keep that nice. Put that on there. Let's just uh, stack them on top of their little shells like that. There we go. And the last one is Hadeon. Cut this one out. Down. There's the instructions again stuck in there. Pull this out and unravel that. And then we can pull the car out. Oh, wow, this is a really bright orange. Really awesome. Let's get the car out. Come on. There we go. Really nice orange there. Um, it's got a bit of a sparkly sort of paint job to it, but again, very nice, sleek. Fast looking car, really, really looking cool. Really liking the look of this guy. He's got some sort of air bits here so the air can sort of flow out the car, possibly making him go faster. Um, but uh, yeah, so, so cool um, to have five of these cars and um, it's starting a brand new collection of uh, these awesome little uh, figures because I am going to call them figures because they are, in a way, figures. They move. Uh, and they are collectibles, you know. Um, <clears throat> super, super cool. There we go, there's all three there. Obviously we can add in these two, so we've got the five there. And just for a comparison shot, there is Hot Streak. Of course we have to add in Hot Streak. He's got to have some of the limelight, seeing as he is actually going to be coming out soon with Skylanders uh, Superchargers, but we don't need to mention that this is Anki, this is the Anki Drive one, but I'm just promoting the Skylanders as, you know, <laughs> it's uh, it's looking really cool. But obviously we have Anki Drive here, really cool, so I'm just going to cut to the last bit, which is just going to be showing off the track and them just going round, summing up what I think of this, and that'll be it, so there we go, moving on to the next part. So as you can see, the cars are driving around themselves really, really cool. It's really, really cool that they're in sync. And as this is going on, it gives you a brief tutorial, but I'm just showing you what is going on here on the track. You can see they're showing, demonstrating their speeds going back and forth here. The math is pretty big, so obviously I can't get it all on camera. But you can see, if I just show you this on my uh, iPod, right there, you can see, it just shows you that, and as it's going, it's talking to you about what is going on here. Um, you know, they're going in and out dodging and weaving each other, looking really, really cool. 
and around the whole track. And this gives you a brief sort of summary as to what's going on. I mean, you can hear probably their uh, they're slowing down, but you can hear the wheels, so they're not quiet and they're not super noisy. They do have a little bit of uh, noise to them, and at the moment they are shooting at each other. You can see the flashing lights. It's not an emergency thing, and uh, one of them has stopped moving now. And we'll reboot and then carry on with the other one. So we'll pull off then, and then we'll carry on. So it is really awesome, so hopefully I'll be able to um, set up the camera in a way to show off all of the track, show off uh, some of the battles and everything. And it is really, really interesting to find out more about these uh, vehicles and everything. Um, we've got all of them charging at the moment, the ones that we uh, unboxed previously. Uh, so that's five cars, one track. There are two other cars and two tracks left. Um, and obviously we've got Overdrive which will be coming out soon so that will allow us to make tracks and everything like that which I am really really excited for. So uh, yeah really cool and as you can see here let me just show you this on the tutorial it's showing it's basically saying which one do you want to have a go at and you can see them in the background spinning around um, and I can pick between these two and drive about with them and learn what's going on. I've done this before and I've started upgrading them and it is really interesting you know the money is um, it's easily built up, um, but it's enjoyable to just, even this simplistic track of going round, of probably having four cars will make it even more enjoyable. Um, but it is super, super cool. So there we go, guys. So very, very happy with this. You know, 600 video, over 800 subscribers, and obviously a brand new series here. So I'm hoping to get some videos done of this, show off uh, hopefully the gamepad as well, or on the same gamepad, the iPod. Um, and uh, yeah, so there we go. So thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this and you're interested in that Anki and Anki Overdrive, then make sure to hit that subscribe button below um, and just keep building up the community. So thank you very much guys for watching. I'll see you then and goodbye.